Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are battling setting powders. We're testing out the Lancome Translucent Something Something Setting Powder versus the Graftobian HD Something Something Else Setting Powder. For some reason, they have the longest names ever, but if you want to see how well these two hold up for an entire day on my skin, then keep watching. So I have more than a couple of foundations in my collection that are supposed to be matte, and even some that are not supposed to be matte that make me with my dry skin look so greasy, literally within five hours also when you see the swatches ignore it i am testing out the sephora lipstick i'll link it up here in case you haven't seen it but um yes i am excited to see how well these perform because even with dry skin i do tend to need to use setting powders with some of my foundations so especially this one that i have on right now this is a sephora taint infusion foundation unfortunately this has been discontinued but it is one of my absolute favorite foundations because of this glow that it gives me because of my lights on camera it always looks like it's so extra if you see my review of this which i will also link up here um when you see in the review it looks so dripping greasy on camera but in person it still look it, it didn't look that bad it didn't look that bad you know but i do know that it can get very very oily on me like later on in the day so I am excited to try these powders on it. There is no powder whatsoever on my face yet. This is how the Graftobian came packaged. I mean, it came in this and then in like a gigantic box. So I guess that sort of protects it. But the box is a bit excessive. This is a bit underwhelming. So I'm not really sure I agree with their packaging choices. Literally, the box was so huge. You'd think they sent me like a million things. But they sent me a giant book and this. I love them. They did send this to me free for testing. But all opinions are obviously my own because I have hated a ton of products that I was sent for for free so that said i absolutely love this powder this has become my holy grail every time i do my face i have to reach for this because the color is just right it is so silky soft it's so finely milled that it just disappears into your skin as soon as you put it on no matter how much i cake it even when i cake it underneath the foundation because i really want it to like last all day it really does last a really long time a little goes a really long way because i have had this for about a month now and you can't actually tell that i've used any of the product whatsoever so this is the color of the powder i hope that's coming through you can see it's a very warm powder it's not cool and this is really apparent to me when i compare it to the lancome one because this looks like a far more neutral color i haven't even opened this like literally all i've done is take the cap off i have not used this yet i am so excited to see how well it works i have a ton of other lancome products and they all come in this like silvery reflective box which i think is pretty cool um it did have a paper wrapped around it not really relevant and then this is a powder and it comes with a puff i've never owned a puff in my life i am so excited and it says lancome right there don't know if you can see that but it does so i am going to be using this to like press it into my face and attempt not to move the foundation underneath but this is so soft i literally think this will work really well because it's just so damn soft you know come to think of it i think this is also a warm powder now that i'm seeing it like up close and not just through the tube not just through the tub i think it is a warm powder it's just a lighter shade than this one so i haven't even mentioned the shades this is in the shade peak and pie and this is in the shade 300 in the lancome so i I think this is just lighter but they're both pretty warm so that's definitely a good thing because i have super yellow undertones and have very warm skin so i do prefer warmer makeup what i should also mention is that the lancome is 32 dollars, but it is 15 grams whereas the graftobian is 20 grams but it's 24 dollars. so you do get more value for money with the graftobian you do get more product but the lancome could just be better quality i don't know oh but but the reason why i wouldn't just say like skip the lancome and go for the graftobian is because i was looking at the packaging as i'm preparing Preparing for this video and i see on the graftobian one it says do not use an area around eyes like what the hell may contain a bunch of things that i'll just list on screen so i guess those aren't really good if they enter your eyes or something so it may not be the healthiest powder but the lancome one has no such warning so i guess maybe for the sake of your skin for the sake of your health you may want to go with the lancome one but the graftobian one just for use all over the face except for under the eyes would be amazing so this is my face with the lancome powder setting it and this is what my face looks like unset so you can see that there's a bit more glow on this side just from the foundation alone but i do like that this side still has a satiny finish because i don't like a fully matte look and this is how i usually set my face with this powder because i do like the powder to be I don't like the powder to just be dusted on the surface of the skin. I do like it to be pushed in to the foundation just so it can actually like sink into it and make it like hold on to my face a bit longer. So that was a lot faster than using a puff, by the way. Now I'm going to go in with my Heritage Rose Water Spray and just give a couple of sprays. Not too much because I have drenched my face before and it completely eliminated 
the results of the powder so i'm just going to go in with a couple of sprays and see how well that does so it is now 3 34 p.m so we're gonna call the check-in time 3 30. neither of these powders have an exact hour claim on like how long they extend the wear of foundation or how long they mattify your face for or whatever so we will just see how long they can hold up for this foundation i guarantee you gets oily after about five hours of me wearing it i have been wearing it for about two hours and now that it's powdered i'm gonna just start the clock again and be like in five hours we'll see how well it's holding up but if anything changes in between now and then i will come back and report it to you guys Guys, but hopefully we can see a difference at the end of this video on which side held on better it is now 6 32 p.m which actually wasn't timed shockingly but it is exactly three hours since um i put on the powders and i'm just gonna take these off because i have been wearing them from the moment i stopped recording until now so actually oh the pulling of the foundation around my nose has happened equally on both sides so neither powders has really helped that i can see the grease is sort of starting to come through on my face but in person it just looks glowy i don't feel the need to touch up whatsoever so it still looks pretty good i was trying to see if either side looks more matte than the other again this is lancome this is graftobian and both of them look pretty evenly starting to glow so i mean i do love that the illumination is coming through but it has definitely helped this foundation because usually at this point it is looking pretty damn greasy but yeah i guess that becomes the shortest check-in i've ever done oh i do like to come back in with my spectacles for those of us who wear spectacles or shades or whatever you prefer yeah both sides seem pretty evenly semi-fixable like the foundation has completely disappeared so there's really nothing to buff into that area anymore but as you can see my smile lines this side seems to have sunk into my smile lines a little more than the graftobian so that's definitely something to consider however the smile lines had already started like sinking in before i put on the powder so maybe they just didn't have enough time to fix it or whatever but this side has sunk in more than this one so i guess the graftobian is helping with the fine lines a bit more both of them claim to elongate the wear of foundation I'm not really seeing that around my mouth on both sides evenly. Also, a quick correction. I checked on the website. Apparently, the price I gave you earlier on was for the Lancome Pressed Powder. The Lancome Loose Powder is $37. This side, Graftobian, $24. Lancome, $37. For that big of a difference in price, I do need to see a bigger difference than I'm seeing right now. And honestly, both sides look like they are becoming glowy but we don't have a problem yet so i will be back in another few hours to see if we have any progress if we have any winners if we have anything like that so i'll be right back so it is basically 11 p.m that means it's been seven and a half hours that i've had these powders on my face and i I'm pretty impressed by the result. I have had absolutely no reason to check in before this because it hasn't really done anything different um, than what you're seeing on my face. So it hasn't gotten any worse. Um, though I am starting to feel like in person I may look a little bit shiny, like maybe two hairs more shiny than like the illuminated look that I'm always going for. Again, I am coming in with my spectacles, which have just fallen for whatever reason. I am coming in with my spectacles because I do want to show you how much pooling has happened since my last check-in. I have been wearing them all through since then. So as you can see, neither powder is like preventing the pooling. So that's not really a factor to consider if you are considering one of these powders. But other than that, surprisingly and remember that the lancome one was a little bit lighter than the graftobian one okay so here's what happened with this lancome one i watched so many reviews before i asked them to send it to me because i did receive this also free for testing but honest review as always um i did watch so many reviews and so many people said that when it arrived it was darker than they expected so i thought going for 400 would be a bit too dark for me so i did go for the 300 which is like the beginning of the brown shades but it does go up to 500 so if you are deeper skin tones you can find your color this was just a foolish mistake for me but if you look on this side you can't even tell that the powder that i used on this half of my face is different from the one used on this one so all in all i mean it is a translucent loose powder so it is supposed to like appear on your face but yeah it was my bad for getting a lighter shade i should have gotten a darker one that said the 37 dollars side and the 24 dollars side are performing exactly the same as you can see the oils of the foundation are starting to come through but i mean i still think it looks pretty damn good it is still settling into my smile lines and it is very much fading around my mouth more so on the lancome side than on the graftobian side but other than that i feel like the illumination is pretty even across my face so i can't really say that one powder worked better than the other one 
so for the price for the value for money you do get more product with the graftobian it is much cheaper 24 dollars 37 dollars i would say go for the graftobian but you cannot go wrong with either one of these powders I actually do think there is a bit less transfer from the lancome side than there is with the graftobian side so if that's a factor definitely consider it like if that's something that's important to you definitely consider because i am seeing a lot less transfer on the Lancome side to be honest so and also remember the Graftobian is not supposed to be used around your eyes so if you're like terrified about those health things like I am you may want to stick to the Lancome one but I think just based on price and quantity Graftobian a definite winner I think they look pretty damn good if you can wear this for seven and a half hours blot your face and be able to continue with your day that's absolutely amazing so I recommend these powders absolute absolute hands down recommend them my winner would be Graftobian just because of the price, but because of like the health things, Lancome is definitely like winning in that category. So that's, that's entirely up to you. I'm going to stop here so I don't just keep repeating myself. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what's important to you, which one you would pick as a winner, because at the end of the day, your opinion is what matters when you're spending your own money. Your money. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe so you can see every video I upload as they come up and I will see you in my next one.